Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to tell you about a bag that I got at the spur of the moment yesterday. Uh, a, a brand that I have never bought, I never carried, and never used, and rarely ever see. Yesterday I went to Macy's and I bought a couple of coach bags. When you leave Macy's, there's coach in the back, then there's Michael Kors, then there's Fossil, and then there's Patricia Nash. So I'm walking with my packages out, and from the corner of my eye, I see this bag, and I go, whoa, and I go over and I see this beautifully tooled, gorgeous bag. And I said, oh, well, I just bought two bags, and I continue to walk out of the store. Then I turned to my husband and say, said, if I don't buy this now, I'm going to be thinking about it, and then we'll have to take another trip back here. And it's at least an hour. If there's no traffic, it's an hour. And going home is even longer because there's always traffic going home. So I went back and I bought this bag. And let me show you what it is. It's the Patricia Nash. It's a tote and a crossbody. And it's from their Spring Deboss, D-E-B-O-S-S -S collection. And this is called Vancona. Uh, Zancona, Z-A-N-C-O-N-A. -A. Look at this bag. Look at this. Look at this tooled flowers. It is just gorgeous. The bottom. The handles. They are so soft. And the zipper and the bottom are not tooled. The top and the bottom, I should say. Let me tell you a little about it. I'm not familiar with this brand at all. And I had to do some research on this. And there wasn't much to be found. I don't know for sure if this is tooled or if it's embossed. I think it's tooled. I went to Macy's website. I went to Patricia Nash website. I googled and I found no information on whether this is tooled or embossed. The only information I did see was on eBay, somebody who's selling it who called it tooled. I don't know how reliable that is. It looks tooled to me. It is the color gold. It's it's called it's from the Spring Deboss, D E B O S S. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. And the height is 10 and a quarter inches. The length is uh, from top, on the top is 15 inches, and on the bottom is 13 inches. The depth is four and three quarter inches. The strap, not, the strap not counting the hardware, is 38 inches. And it can be made shorter. It, it's, it's adjustable in size, but you could take out this section. I, I'm assuming it's sectional. Yes, you could take out this section and I guess make it a shorter shoulder. The leather is just gorgeous. It's, a le it's Italian leather. It does, I couldn't get, find any information to specify what type of Italian leather it was. It has a nice zipper. It has a very rustic look and this leather is very, very smooth. It's 100% leather. In here, you have a very big slip pocket. I mean, my hand is lost in there. On the front wall, you have two, two pockets that are pretty deep. And this feels like some kind of a suede. It has a very short, which I think short is a good idea, uh, key leash. This is different and I like it. I never saw that. The name of Patricia Nash is embossed on the, the emblem back here. It has feet. It has a zipper on the back, or if you want this to be in the front, it could be in the front, I guess. And my hand is way deep in here. This is a gorgeous bag. Patricia Nash was not having a sale at Macy's, or I should say Macy's was not having a sale, because on the Patricia Nash website, it was on sale for 15% off. 
I don't know if they have this or if this is just old stock from Macy's, but this is incredibly beautiful and I just couldn't pass it up to think about it. So I just wanted to share that with you. Let me show you how it looks with the strap. The hardware is a little hard to push. These, these hooks are a little hard to push. They're not as soft as the Dooney or the Coach, but they're, they're workable. And it seems to be a brass ring that it attaches to over here. This is on the medium setting, and I'm almost five foot three. it a lot. This is how it looks if you hold it in, on the crook of your arm. And this is how it looks on your shoulder. It could be worn anyway. It's actually very comfortable on the shoulder and it's not slipping down. These handles are rolled and this is the other side of it. Whether the glazing is. So what fits in here? Well, everything that I own, this is a pretty big space. And this is flexible. If you'd like to carry an iPad, no problem. If you, your wallet, my wallet, the skinny wallet, Dooney skinny wallet, fits nicely in the zipper compartment back here. It goes straight in. Goes. My makeup case, my phone charger and uh, ear ear pieces, earphones. This is where I keep my keys and this wristlet. My eyeglass case. Well, that, that would have to lay on top. But this is how it would look. Fits in nicely. And this is how it looks zipped up. Not heavy. Not, I should say it's not light either. You know, it is heavy with the, I have an iPad in here, so it's heavy. Um, I don't know how much this weighs. I could weigh it for you if you want. Take everything out. I don't think it's too much when there's things, when the, there's no things in it. And I really like it. It sells for, I think it was $249. $249. I wanted to look it up by the style number, but for some reason, somebody marked that out. I don't know why, but this is beautiful. So, I will put the weight in the description and I'll let you know if the, if the weight is, is important to you. This is light if you have nothing in it. It's not heavy at all. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. And it was great getting an opportunity to see you and show you what I got. I just loved it. Oh, oh I should say, the, this hardware, uh, Patricia Nash calls her signature hardware. It has some kind of a design on it. I wouldn't want to forget that, because that is unique. Thanks, thanks again, guys, for watching. I love you. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.